Why does a fighter jet speeding overhead typically produce one sonic boom, but when SpaceX boosters return, you hear three? I'm an aerospace engineer and sonic booms are created by a complex system of shockwaves that form around an object moving faster than the speed of sound. These often merge into two dominant shockwaves. One at the nose, where pressure rapidly spikes, followed by a region of decreasing pressure, and then another shock at the tail, where pressure returns to normal. The time interval between these two shocks reaching the ground depends mainly on the object's size and length. For a fighter jet, that interval is so small that the ear cannot distinguish between the shocks. But for objects like the Falcon 9 booster, which is over 40 meters long, the shockwaves are more spread out. One is created at the base and another at the nose, which is similar to the fighter jet. But the third comes from the grid fins, which extend outward during descent and create a large enough change in geometry to form their own shockwaves. Since the grid fins are located just behind the nose, those two last booms arrive nearly back to back, producing the distinctive boom 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 pattern. So depending on size and other factors, supersonic objects might deliver a single sonic boom or several. 